In our previous installation videos, we've shown you how to install our hot stainless Revo K railing system in wood post. But for today's video, we are going to be showing you how to install the hot stainless Revo through post in stop in a metal post. We post a ton of really helpful K railing tutorials here on our YouTube channel. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Metal post cable railing systems are just as popular as wood post systems, and the Revo system that we manufacture here at Haas Stainless is what you're going to be using for your metal post cable railing system. So first, let's talk about the post dimensions and hole sizes that you'll need to take into consideration when installing Revo standard and low profile end stops in metal post. Revo through post end stops can be installed in metal posts ranging in size from an inch and a half to four inches in diameter. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the Revo system on this metal post frame that was sent to us by our friends at OS Fabrication out of Knoxville, Tennessee. The frame is constructed of two by two steel intermediate and termination post. Whether you're ordering prefabricated posts like we did for today's video, or if you're gonna be constructing the post yourself, you wanna make sure that you're drilling the correct hole sizes for your Revo system components. For 1 8 inch Revo end stops, you will need to drill a 13 30 seconds hole on the back sides of your termination post and a quarter inch hole on the front side of your termination post. For 3 16 Revo end stops, you will need to drill a 13 30 seconds hole on the back side of your termination post and a 5 16 hole on the front side of your termination post. Once the holes in your posts have been drilled, the next step will be to pre-cut your cables for your cable run. Start off by taking a measurement from the back side of your termination post and then round that measurement up to the next foot. This will ensure that you have enough cable length to install your through post tensioner at the opposite end of your run. Our frame ended up measuring three foot three inches long from one termination post to the other. So we will be pre-cutting all seven of our cables at four feet. Once all of the cables have been pre-cut, slide on either your standard or low profile end stops onto the end of each cable for the run. Grab your Crenshaw swaging tool and then swage your end stops onto your cable. If you're not familiar with the swaging process, head over to our video all about how to swage Haas Stainless Revo cable railing components. Once all of your end stops for the run have been swaged onto your cables, Feed each cable through the back side of your termination post and make sure that the end stops seat properly in their respective holes. Lastly, feed your cable through any of the intermediate posts in your run. Now that you've installed your through post end stops, the next step in your installation will be to install your through post tensioners. You can find the installation video for installing through post tensioners and metal post in the video description below. If you feel like the Revo system is right for your metal post cable railing system, then feel free to click through some of our other Revo component installation videos. If you have any questions about through post end stops, drop us a comment below. And if you found today's video helpful, then be sure to give it a like. I'm Tyler with Haas Stainless. Thanks for watching.